Josh and welcome back to another Vlogtober video. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos so far. It's really, really fun making them for you guys and I want to be able to enjoy everything that I put out on this channel for you to view. So I am doing my fall essential video. This was requested so we are just going to go ahead and get into the video. If you like these videos, please make sure you give them a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos from me and without further ado let's just get into today's video okay you guys so like I said we are going to be doing my fall essentials video but first I want to go over what I have on since you guys are always asking what am I wearing so I just have my hair I actually curling wanted this morning these earrings are from Amari Rose. These earrings, I can't remember where I got these from. I'm sorry. I think I got it from like that place, you know, the dollar jewelry store. I believe that's where I got it from. But all of my other earrings are from my shop, Amari Rose, including my two necklaces. And then my lippy is Beauty Bakery Tiramisu. I love this color from fall. It's like a deep purple type burgundy color so pretty i love it and then my rings are from amari rose this ring is from alicia's shop living fearless all of my bracelets are from amari rose and my watch is from evergreen it's such a beautiful gold watch and i love it this turtleneck is from target um, my belt is from target <laughs> and my pants are from target uh, so everything i got on below the neck is from target besides the jewelry i love target as you guys can tell they have amazing clothes that are pretty good quality at a reasonable price so i always like hit up target first after the thrift store thrift store is always first um before i go ahead and get into like buying clothes and stuff so i'm not going to let this introduction be too long this video obviously is going to speak for itself so let's just get into what are my fall essentials all right so i have 10 items that i consider fall essentials so let's go ahead and get started with my first item my first item are t-shirts so i love t-shirts t-shirts are definitely a versatile piece in any um closet you guys know i do a capsule closet so i really would consider this my fall capsule essentials um so i definitely love t-shirts in the spring the summer and the winter for layering um fall can layer as well so i just always stick to basic colors i am very much a neutral girl and i will pop colors in there every now and then but most of the time i am a neutral girl these t-shirts are from banana republic i did get them in a large but i would recommend sizing down they fit kind of bigger than i want to but i want to get my wear out of these first before i buy some mediums but these are really really good banana republic has a really good t-shirts and they do do a sale like i got i I think these t-shirts were on sale for like seven dollars and ninety cent when i bought them i think they're regular like 25 or something so i would definitely wait until they have a sale before you pick them up they're really good quality i wash these i put them in the dryer and they have not shrunk they have not faded they have not changed color so i got one in a gray one in a black and of course one in a white but any t-shirt in this color palette any style any price point that you want to get a t-shirt is always a good staple so for my second staple it would be a turtleneck so i do have a turtleneck on or consider yeah it goes all the way up so i wouldn't call this a mock neck but maybe so i don't know I call it a turtleneck. It's a turtleneck um, and it's in this black and cream striped color. Um, I think for turtlenecks, you definitely need a black turtleneck, a white or a cream turtleneck and something that's with stripes. Um, I do have a black turtleneck that I've had for the last four or five years. I got this from the thrift store. It's some name brand that I have never heard of, but the quality of this is absolutely amazing. I literally have washed and dried this so many times and it's not even faded but I love a good turtleneck. It's very much a layering piece for me and I also like to just wear it alone. I could throw a blazer on top of it, button up shirt, whatever the case may be. I definitely, definitely love my turtleneck. I do like this one from Target. It's very lightweight. This one is more heavy knit, so you can get it in different weights depending on how hot it is already wherever you live. And I do think that a lightweight one, it would be better if it's still kind of hot in your area, but if it's getting cold, cold, this thick turtleneck is actually really, really nice. And like I said, you can get them in different weights, so thinner or lighter, depending on the um, weather in your area. All right, so my next staple, you guys already knew, if you've been here long enough, button down shirts. 
<laughs> so button down, button up, whatever you want to call it, you need some button up shirts all season long. So I got a new button down shirt. I think this past summer, this one is by Eddie Bauer in an extra large. Um, I love this shirt. It's actually a different kind of striped. It's a little bit more deeper, a little bit more rich. And then the ones that I wear in the summer are a little bit more faded and lighter. So that's what I love about this one. And then my classic white button down um, oversized shirt. I wear this spring, summer, fall, winter. Like it, it goes through all the seasons. This is one I do not put up. And then this one is a new one from the thrift stores by Tommy Bahama. And it is a kind of heavy, kind of lightweight in between um, a cream color um, button down. I don't have a cream color button down. I think this would be really, really nice in the fall with a good pair of jeans and a blazer or jeans and some boots. And so super, super cute. So make sure you're getting you some button downs and whatever type of fabric pattern um, or look that you're going for. Like I said, I am an oversized girl, so I love my button downs to cover the midsection because they're oversized. But if you like yours more fitted, um, you can size down in the men's section or you can go to the women's section and find any button up that you want. It's really, really hard, I would say, to find um, stripe button up in the women's section. I have not been successful finding a really good button up that is striped in the women's section in the colors that I'm looking for. I'm always very successful in the men's section. So get you some button ups. All right, so my next is sent to a something new to my closet for this year I didn't really wear these a lot last year I was just getting into them but it's knit sweaters so or sweaters whatever you want to call them knit sweaters so I have three here um, that I am loving my mom actually just bought me this lightweight knit one from I want to say she got it from bargain hunter or somewhere like that it's by a brand called laundry it's a size large it's so soft and nice but what i love about it is you can dress it up and down like i said everything that i get i want to be able to dress up and down at my job i wear business casual and then on the weekends i'm two, more of jeans kind of slack type girl so i like for my shirts to be able to go with everything so this is a cream color knit sweater It's on the lighter side it's not as thick as these other knits that i'm going to show you so once again depending on the weather in your area you can get lightweight or heavyweight knits or um, shirts or fabrics just so that you won't be burning up <laughs> and then the next one is from molly green it's in a size medium it actually fits a really oversized it's in this nice cream and a brown color i really love it it goes definitely with my color palette it's absolutely gorgeous um i didn't get to wear it a lot last year but i'm definitely going to get my wear out of it this year and then next is this um cream and a black shirt um knit shirt from h m or knit sweater um i love this i have been looking for one of these for a while and i think i found it last year like the end of the season when stuff goes on sale and i didn't get to wear it as much but i'm definitely going to wear it a lot this uh, fall and winter season i would suggest getting you a couple of knit sweaters in a different weights for the weather all right so next is uh cardigans everybody is into cardigans I love cardigans. Sometimes when you just want to wear a t-shirt or a basic little shirt, sometimes when you throw on a cardigan, it just looks so good. Um, so I have a couple here, but I have lots of cardigans, you guys. I love old man grandpa cardigans. They are the best. They're always oversized and cozy. Can you just tell me my theme here? I love oversized cozy things. So I do have them in different knits and weights as well because of where I live. So, you know, if it's colder where you live, you can just get all heavy, but I have different weights. So I have this lightweight knit that's in this cream color. It's kind of long. It goes and covers your bum area. Um, my mom actually bought this for me. It's called Strazzy by Cyrus is an extra large so it's very over it's not too oversized but it fits really really good and very very um comfortably and I love it and then this next one is one you guys have already seen and everybody asked me about it y'all this is my favorite grandpa sweater this was the first one that I ever bought I've literally had this sweater for like over um I want to say eight or nine years and I don't wear it every season because I do have kind of like my phases of when I want to wear it and when I don't want to wear it but this is definitely the season of the grandpa um orange cardigan I got this from the thrift store years ago it's by something Gil Clifford and Willis it's in a size medium it was out of the men's section it's a very heavy 
<laughs> that's why I'm holding this thing like this so heavy but I actually really really love this this is one of my favorite sweaters and even if I go out of like orange and I don't want to wear it for a while I never get rid of it because I know I'm going to come back to it like I did this season and then this one is also from the men's section it's a gap in the size large so it's an oversized gray sweater um like I said I always have my um, major color schemes that I always wear. It has pockets, so I love it. It really reminds me of the old professor who comes in with his glasses and his jeans, and then he have a nice car to get on with his loafers. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of when I put it on. I just want to put on my blue light glasses and look all studious when I wear my cardigans, especially my big oversized ones. And then this last one um, is a newer one that I just bought from Target in a large. I do have the Kalana Barfield version, but hers is more of a white on black, which to me interprets more of spring and summer um but when it's darker and then has the white as the secondary color it reminds me more of fall and winter and more cozy so that's just my opinion take it as you must i still have the colada barfield one out to wear this fall and winter but i'll probably be reaching for this one more because i feel like it's a little bit more cozy when it's darker you know and got that cozy feel to it so this one is from target as well i love it and i got it in a size of large so make sure you guys are getting you some good card gifts when i say the thrift store is the best place the thrift store is the best place to pick up some cardigans i'm telling you you will not be disappointed go to the men's section the men's section <laughs> so my next essential are slacks so i am skipping over jeans this year not to say that i won't be wearing any jeans this fall and winter because of course we all know that's not true but i have been into slacks lady into wearing slacks more casually if you guys know it's all the rage <laughs> is that what the young people say all the rage on pinterest instagram since i believe last summer i think i started this last summer and i definitely got more into it this year and it's just a trend that i absolutely love i love wearing my slacks with my sneakers and just going out and being like put together Together, but also relax so I just have a bunch of slacks here so I have a black pair of course and these are from Target and everything that I can link down below I will link down below if I forget please remind me I know I don't always remember but just remind me if I forget I have a camel color which you guys seen I wore this to um, Chicago with the black um, what was it tank top and I really really love that outfit with my sneakers this one is a weight where you can wear it all season the next pair of slacks are new to my um, closet. I wanted a pair of patterned slacks and I went into Target. If you guys saw my Target um, try on haul video, then you saw these pants already. They fit so good. They're very flattering. They're high waisted. They're wide leg. I absolutely love this. It also came with the matching blazer, which I got as well. So I'll come and show you guys that in a minute. So I'm glad that I can wear it as a set, as a loan, and it just gives me much more versatility when it comes to um, using my pieces. And then the last pair of slacks are these faux leather joggers, but these are joggers, but they don't have the um, cinched, uh, what do you call it, legs. I don't like joggers that have the cinched leg. I don't think they look really good on me. I think I look better with like wide led items. So I did buy these from, I think I got these from, um, what's that place called? um buffalo exchange that's it i think i got these from buffalo exchange in tennessee one year one year or last year with alicia and so i got these and they fit really really good so i, I want to wear these this season i didn't get to wear them last season as much as i want to but i want to be mindful and wear them this season okay so moving on to my next essential item these are my favorite i wear them all year round i get so happy when i get a new one and they are blazers you guys know i love blazers i am obsessed and i ain't shame about it i ain't shame about it at all i have blazers in all sizes colors weights fabrics on blazer girl so this first one is a black and white blazer that i got last year from a boohoo and then this one is one of my newest blazers that i got at the thrift store out of the men's section it was 8.99 plus 50 percent off i am loving this brown color it's absolutely gorgeous i have so many ideas of how to wear this blazer i can't wait and then this is the matching blazer to that target pants as you see it's like a burnt orange rust kind of color with a brown perfect for the fall season so i really really love this one and this is also the newest blazer from the thrift store as well it is a i guess a checkered pattern sort of it has like a 
a brownish gold color in there with black and cream so this will definitely go with a lot of stuff in my closet and the last blazer i would recommend would be a faux leather blazer faux leather blazers are definitely in i picked this one up from zara about two seasons ago so make sure you guys are picking up some good blazers for the season okay next on the list are jackets i've never put jackets in my essentials because i more felt like jackets were blazers but they're not they're completely different and I need to separate them as they should be. So I would say get yourself some good jackets. So my favorites this year are going to be this um, Kalana Barfield um, denim jacket in a darker wash. I have another one from Molly Green. It's a lighter wash and I wear that more than in the spring and summer. And this one's a little bit darker. So I'll wear this one in the fall and winter. Um, it's from Kalana Barfield, the Target collection. It's probably no longer available, but I would try to find something comfortable and of course, a um moto jacket i got this one from the thrift store but it's actually a target brand and i love this one because it looks like a real leather even though it's faux leather it's really good quality it's not going to peel y'all if you've ever had those cheap leather jackets that peel you know this one i've had for a while and it's not going to peel it's not going to peel anytime soon it doesn't feel like it's going to peel it doesn't even feel like that type of fabric and this was a really really good find at thrift store next on the list are trench coats so trench coats are amazing they are for fall spring uh, the best time to wear trench coats so those are the best seasons so i have two here so this first one i have is a cropped trench, trench coat that you guys saw that i actually cropped myself from a thrifted trench coat that i bought um a, probably a while ago um and i ended up cutting it myself and then alicia's mom ended up hemming it for me and so i will be wearing this crop <laughs> a trench coat this season i didn't get much wear out of it during the spring but i want to get a lot more wear out of it this fall so i really love it it is in a lighter wash i wish it was darker it's still a little bit lighter on camera than it actually is but i wish it was a little darker for fall but i think it still work and then my other trench coat is a long trench coat with the faux leather trim i got this from the signed by blake collection with amazon the drop I still has a tag on it. I have yet to wear it. Sad, I know. And she dropped this like two seasons ago. But I plan on getting some wear out of it for sure this fall um, and maybe into the winter. It's pretty heavyweight, but not heavyweight enough to go like all the way into the winter. You can definitely wear it in spring and fall, but it's definitely not a full winter um, trench coat because it doesn't have the lining. Um, old trench coats back in the day, you could take them from season to season. This one actually you could. It could have a zip-in liner for the winter and then you would zip it out for the spring. And that's why I like going to the thrift stores and getting traditional good trench coats that are all weather trench coats by zipping in and out the lining if you know you know okay um but these two are great and i really really love them okay so last and certainly not least on this essential video is boots of course everybody knows you need boots for fall and winter they always come back in style i love my booties i love my combat boots i love my over the knee boots so i'm just going to show you a couple that i have so my first favorite are my doc martens i wear these all the time i've been wearing them non-stop when i got them and the funny thing is i've had these for a while and i've worn them hundreds of times and they still look damn near brand new so these are the best ones i got these are i got these was off Amazon when they was on sale for $99. I have never been able to get them for $99 again. <laughs> okay, and then of course you got to have some booties. These are my favorite booties here from Belk. They are by a company called Jelly Pop. I have the black pair, the burgundy pair, and the snake skin. And I get so much wear out of these every season. I think this is like my third or fourth season wearing these boots. Nice pair of, um, was it cognac? booties i got these from vince camuto from i think from belk or either tj maxx and i've had these for a couple seasons as a matter of fact i need to take them in and see if i can get the the heels redone because they're kind of worn down i've had these like four or five years the leather looks absolutely amazing and they get softer and softer every year and of course we love over the knee calf boots so i have a pair that are also from belk and these are by seven dial in the snake skin i love these they're super comfortable i don't do really really high heel boots as you guys will see and then i got a pair of black over the knee boots that are also a pretty nice heel height and these, I don't know who these are by. I can't remember where I got these from. Calf and over knee boots that I like to wear during the fall and winter. All right, you guys. So that is my fall essentials for my capsule wardrobe. Let me know down below what are your essentials for fall. 
pieces that you like to bring out every season or repurchase in different colors, textures, um, and patterns. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any more videos from me. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.